Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of GFX, which was originally being made by forum user Roosnash37, but has since been taken over by forum user Sare, and what this glorious little piece of work aims to do is add a little bit more realism into Kerbal Space Program by making the G-forces that your Kerbals are under during flight actually affect them, which is really cool. It's something I've always thought was kind of strange. G-forces have always just been a random, interesting stat that we've had whenever you finish a mission, or of course, crash a mission, you just get the little maximum G number, and it's interesting, but not really useful, and it doesn't really do anything. But now it will. Your Kerbals can black out, red out, and even go into G-lock, which is G-induced loss of consciousness. And that all is just really, really cool. I love the idea of that. So let's jump onto the runway and actually test it out. Now, one thing that will be noted, we will not be playing around with Jebediah on this one because the amount of G-forces that your Kerbal would have to uh, be subjected to to affect them is different per Kerbal and by their traits. So a pilot like Jebediah, especially an experienced pilot like Jebediah, is not going to be affected by G-forces nearly as much as, say, Bill or Bob. So we are going to grab Bob in here for now and uh, go and take off in this little plane. Now we should be able to uh, show off blackouts, redouts, I, I think the G-lock loss of consciousness it might be possible with this plane, but we will have to see. Now, what is fun is that the G-forces are actually calculated by both, uh, or in the multiple directions, either upward, downward, backward, or for forward. So the G-forces your Kerbals are subjected to by, say, launching on a rocket, will be far easier for them to withstand than what we're about to attempt on this plane. So if we bring in our gears, and if we just sort of go into a hard turn, we should start to black out a little bit. We shouldn't probably go into full blackout, but yes, there we go. The screen is getting darker. And if we uh, listen here for a moment, we should also hear Bob grunting. Hopefully it'll actually show while I'm quiet. Okay, he's not grunting. Give me a second, let's turn the other way. Okay, we got a little bit of the grunting there, but it might be kind of hard to hear on the video. But yes, while your Kerbal is going through a blackout situation, they will begin to grunt as they struggle through the G-forces. Now let's actually, well, I'm going to shut up again, and we're going to do the blackout, and then come out of the blackout, and you will also hear them basically start to breathe heavily after coming out of the blackout maneuver. So I'll be quiet. There we go, we got one grunt out of Bob and then some heavy breathing, and that is quite cool. So we're basically getting sort of the upward forces, I guess, is what you would be affected by by doing tight turns like this. Now, if we do sort of a downward force, we should get a red out, because that should start forcing all that blood into your brain. So let's take a nosedive. Oh, nope, wrong way, wrong way. Here we go. Yep, there we go, we are going into a red out, and... Oh, no, we've gone into full unconsciousness. Oh, boy. Oh, we're gonna crash. We are going to crash. Oh, okay, okay, thank God we were high enough. <laughs> what I was trying to do is if you get into a full red out, the screen will be completely red, and there's a very thin line between red out and black out, but while in red out, you can actually hear the uh, blood beating in your ears. So uh, we're gonna try for that again, but yeah, the problem is definitely going to be the speed. So let's let's try and bleed off a little speed here. We'll even throttle down. There we go. And then try to do the red out again so we can hear that uh, blood beating in our ears. So I will be quiet.
You got it a little bit. It was very hard to hear, though, over the engine sound. I tried turning down the engine effects as far as I could go. But yeah, the heart beating, you could hear it a little bit. I'll try and bring it out more in editing. But it's such a cool effect that when you do get into that red out, you hear that blood pumping. Because, well, yeah, that's all the blood rushing to your head, and it's not a good thing. And as we saw earlier, if you push it through that red out, you will go into complete unconsciousness. And when you are unconscious in this mod, you cannot control the plane. Well, with the keyboard, it is one of these small bugs at the moment that if you do have any sort of mods that uh, extend control beyond the keyboard, uh, there's a lot of them that let you control from like tablets and things like that. You will still be able to control the plane, but if you are just using keyboard and mouse like I am, when we go unconscious, you will have no control over your plane whatsoever. Oh boy, there we go. We're probably going to crash. I was hoping we'd get high enough up, but oh. Are we coming out of it? Oh, thank God we are. Oh boy, we're going to go unconscious again. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come out. Oh, no, we've crashed. <laughs> uh, and that's that's an issue. You don't want an inexperienced pilot blacking out on you and going unconscious. That's just going to lead to your death. So let's actually go back to the space plane hangar, and let's get Jebediah in here now to show you the difference between an experienced pilot and an unexperienced pilot, like poor Bill there. Or no, we had... Oh god, who were we just flying with? Bob! We were flying with Bob, the scientist. Okay, Jebediah, you go in now, and you will be our pilot. And Jebediah should not be affected by the G-forces nearly as much. He should still get the blackout effects when we do the tight turn, but we shouldn't red out as quickly. Uh, that is that is how it should work, at least. With my luck, it'll all go wrong, but eh, that's what happens sometimes when you're trying to show off a mod. Now, while we're taking off... It is worth mentioning that the sounds that you did hear, so if you could even hear the beating of our pulse, or the grunting, or the heavy breathing, all of those sounds are currently very much in beta, so they should improve over time, and I hope they do. They kind of sound right, but they also just have that slight ting or twinge to them that's kind of like, eh, that sounds strange, but hopefully they will improve. Uh, other things that they are wanting to add is Kerbal Death upon way too high of G-forces. So that should be interesting once that gets implemented. But let's pull back with Jebediah. We are getting the blackout. It's not quite as dark on the screen as it was previously with uh, Bill or Bob or whoever in the hell I was flying with. I don't remember now. But if we take the nosedive now... We are going red, but not nearly as quickly. Uh, with uh, our previous pilot, we were pretty much almost completely out by the time we got back to this position. Jebediah, on the other hand, was able to fight through it. So he was able to handle the G-forces quite a bit better with the red outs. Oh boy, we were going faster on that one. Oh, I was trying to hear the blood again. Oh, it's such a fine line between red out and complete unconsciousness. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I really want to get a good sound effect from that. Ah, no, I just keep going too far into the red and going unconscious. But yes, if you can somehow hold it in that fine line between consciousness and unconsciousness, you will be able to hear that heartbeat, which is quite cool. I really, really do love that. Now, some other fun things that they are hoping to add is the simulation of loss of orientation after G-Lock as well in the real world. After you come out of that unconsciousness, you're highly disoriented, and they're wanting to simulate that somehow. Now, one of the features is you are supposed to actually get tunnel vision as the G-forces rise. I personally haven't really noticed it, but uh, maybe it's just me. I, I don't know. Maybe it's some setting I have that's causing it not to really do anything. Uh, but the actual screen effects of the blackout and redout are definitely apparent. Now, the mod also does come with a config file that you can use to edit basically everything in this mod. So you can change how much the G-forces will affect the Kerbals, how traits will affect, how much they'll be affected by G-forces. You can even restrict 
the effects of the audio, both the audio and visual effects, to the IVA mode only. Like, I'm out in third person because I'm more comfortable flying out here, uh, but you can restrict it so that the mod only does things when you're in this view, which, oh boy, that would be scary. Let's do a red out from in here. Okay. And hold. Oh god, I went too far again. We're unconscious. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that's the ocean. That is the ocean. Ah, oh, jeez. Every time I try and keep that red line, we go right over. Hopefully you guys heard the blood pumping at some point. But yes, it is there, and it is quite a cool effect when you can hold it. It's quite fun. I do really enjoy it. And as I said, your different Kerbals, pilot or non-pilot, will be affected differently. Also... I believe the traits, so like a Courageous Kerbal will be able to hold uh, against G-Forces longer than an Uncourageous Kerbal. Let's actually test that real quick, as I am intrigued. Let's revert flight to Space Plane Hangar. And I recruited a Kerbal earlier who is, oh god, no, I didn't mean to go in there, who is horribly, horribly cowardice, Maxise Kerman. She is a scientist, so not a pilot, so already highly affected by G-forces, and she has, like, no courage whatsoever. So I'm hoping that she should be affected by the G-forces much more harshly than either of the two previous Kerbals we've tested will be, which should be quite interesting. Oh, and also on the config file, I should also mention, as I said earlier, upward, downward, backward, and forward directional G-forces are all figured into this. Uh, and you can change each of those individually by the severity of effect. Now, I'm just going to be showing it off with the plane here, because even with the best rocket I could build to launch us into space within seconds, I couldn't really get the G-forces enough to do anything, because, I mean, it is it is a thing. The vertical sort of upward G-force is not nearly as bad as when you're doing stuff like this to your poor pilots. Oh, yeah, she went to the blackout a lot quicker than the other two did. And let's get some altitude and go into the red out. Oh, boy. Lost consciousness quicker than Jebediah did. Oh, and we actually didn't go into unconsciousness there. Let's try that again and see if we can get the blood pumping sound. I think I got a little bit of it. Oh, it's go oh, we're gonna crash. <laughs> Uh, trying to get that damn sound up. Yep, we, we've lost another Kerbal. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a bad crash, too. I, I am really enjoying this mod, though. Uh, just the sheer fact that G-Forces actually have an effect on our Kerbals now is lovely. It's not just a stat that we get here of, you know, most G-Forces endured. It actually means something now, and that makes me happy. And I do like the addition of the proper visual effects and also the sound effects, the grunting, the heavy breathing, and the blood beating. All very cool. And if you would like to add this into your game to add a bit more realism, you can check it out in the link in the description, as always. And I definitely suggest to go and give it a try. It is very fun. I've just been playing with this for like a half hour before recording, just trying to see how close I can get that red line before unconsciousness. It's been quite fun and entertaining for me. So maybe you'll enjoy it too, and I of course hope you have enjoyed this particular episode, and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one.